and welcome to another episode of Books from the Outside. I am Andy, and today we are discussing The Global Merchants, a book I just read by Joseph Sassoon, surviving member of the illustrious Sassoon family who at one point ran an empire of global trading in India, China, and Britain, and all over the world. The Sassoon started humble beginnings with David Sassoon from Baghdad. He was a Jewish man, and he moved to India and started this trading company. He started out small, but his company grew through shrewd business practices, and with the surge in opium trading, the Sassoons struck gold and their fortune began. David Sassoon had many sons. He instilled in all of them and daughters, but mostly the sons were running the business at this point in the company's life cycle. We go through the generations and the women, some, of, some women do get more involved in the company um, further down, but this is like the 1800s. So we'll start with their sons. But uh, he had many sons, the two primary sons, Abdallah and Elias, were uh, especially involved. David Sassoon took special care in all of his children's upbringing. They would travel and they would learn the ins and outs of the business. And eventually they all ran their own segments of David's business. And he encouraged them to compete with each other. So the family had a very inner competitive nature which they fostered and which the children carried so they would work together to, to move the company forward but also they would compete with each other and this competitive character was probably one of the things which made the Sassoon company companies last so long well, eventually David passes away and he leaves the company primarily to his eldest son, Abdallah. Abdallah is a good leader for the company, but the second son, Elias, decides to set off on his own and start his own company. So now we have two competing Sassoon companies. This is still in the 1800s, both trading in opium. Elias' uh, company, E.D. Sassoon, becomes um, successful very quickly because he knows all of the tricks of the business, he knows the right connections, and um, immediately becomes successful. So E.D. Sassoon and David Sassoon Company, E.D. standing for Elias, uh, they are competing. They are friends and foes in this business. And together they become major players on the scene. David Sassoon having the head start, of course, David Sassoon Company, but Elias's shrewd business practices bringing E.D. Sassoon Company right in tail. Both companies last for many generations of Sassoons, passing from brother to brother to son, etc. Very much an empire. Eventually, the Sassoons of both companies but mostly from the main company's families, family members, many of them moved to Britain from India. Um, some of them were also located in China to head the branches there. Um, China, India, and Britain were the major branches of the company. Many of them moved to Britain though and decided they wanted to start playing with the high society of the Brits, and uh, they do that. They intermarry with Rothschilds on both the, uh, multiple uh, family members in, uh, intermarry with Rothschilds. And they also, on both sides of both companies, have family members who eventually get knighted by the Queen of England, receiving baronetcies because, or the, the, King of, the King of England, the Queen of England, the royalty of England, they were so pleased uh, with the Sassoons contribution to their societies 
that they became baronets. So that was great for them. They entered into the inner circles of Britain's royalty. I think some of the only Jewish family, only only Jewish people to make it to the royalty of the UK. They played with the kings and the princes and um, all of this uh, luxury and excess though eventually did take its toll on the company, especially David Sassoon's company, which did start to dwindle over the generations. The public's view of the trade, especially in opium, which was their primary cash cow, they started to think that opium wasn't such a great thing to be selling all over the place, getting people addicted and all that. And, um, of course, the Sassoons on both sides adamantly denied the harmful effects of opium. And they also traded in textiles, so they didn't solely rely on the opium trade. But eventually, the opium trade does dwindle, and the Sassoons start to dwindle with them. As the generations go down, the company of David Sassoon, David Sassoon Company, was unable to change with the times. The younger generations cared little for the business, and they mostly just wanted to cash out, get as much money as they could so they could fund their frivolous and exciting lifestyles among the British elite. So one of the final members, Siegfried Sassoon, known more for his artistic inclinations than he and contributions to art than he was to the business. Eventually they end up selling the company. E.D. Sassoon's company lasts a little bit longer, with uh, Victor Sassoon being the final surviving leader of the company. Victor Sassoon managed to keep the company going strong despite all the opium effects. And they probably would have lasted much longer. However, at one point, due to tax disputes, Victor Sassoon, on the Elias E.D. Sassoon side of the family, decides to move all his assets to China because he thinks that's going to be the safer bet for him, the wiser business decision. But that was the wrong move for China was starting to become less business friendly, and they actually seized all of the Sassoon's assets shortly after leaving the company decimated. And that was the end of the E.D. Sassoon, which lasted a little bit longer than the David Sassoon company, but it fell as well. E.D. Sassoon was no more, and Victor, the playboy tycoon who hangs out in Hollywood, and amongst the royalty, he decides to finally settle in the Bahamas with his hot nurse, who marries him. And uh, they use the rest of their fortune to spend their days living it up in the Bahamas, which is, I guess, where they decided would be the most pleasing for them and the easiest on their taxes. So that's the Sassoons, the rise and fall of a great empire from humble Jewish Baghdadi beginnings, moving to India, growing into an empire, playing with royalty, and then eventually the final dream, settling in Bahamas with your hot nurse. That's the Sassoons.